We're taking a look at the Gregory Cairn 58. This pack is a women's specific design. It's got good carrying capacity, great load transfer, as well as a kind of a unique feature set as far as access to the inside of the pack, packing it and storage space. So we're taking a look here at the suspension system of the Cairn 58, and this is what Gregory's calling the Response LT suspension system. Uh, as you can see, you've got a, a really comfortable set of thin, these are thermal molded uh, straps, here shoulder straps. They're very comfortable, really want to contour to the body uh, and fit the user very well, as well as the same with the back panel here, and they do have um, a, a wishbone frame design, which is essentially an upside down wishbone. So the, the frame that you can see here is inside, comes down the sides and then anchors in here. This is where you're gonna get great load transfer into uh, the hip, hips of the pack, which is where you wanna be carrying the majority of your weight while you're backpacking. Now the hip belt itself is also made from that same material and has this great pivot point. So when you're wearing this pack, as you're climbing up and down rocks, moving, uh, it's gonna be very stable on the back. You get a lot of movement, a lot of adjustability here. It's gonna be very comfortable for the wear, as well as offering good load transfer. Gregory's done a great job of thinking through all of the little details and features that a backpacker wants. Uh, and this pack, we'll, we'll cover a few of them here while we're on the uh, on the back side of the pack. Um, you've got all your typical adjustment points uh, to get a great fit, but you can see they've got like a, a little plastic housing here that's going to be great for holding a hydration hose. You've got multiple points to clip in access gear if you want to carry cameras or, or whatever you have there. You do have zippered pockets on the hip belt for stowing small items, and the sternum strap is removable this is a really clean streamlined design where you get like kind of like a metal hook buckle here so you can easily take the sternum strap off put it back on and you can use those lash points to move that sternum strap up and down so you get the best fit they do have a really nice little zip pocket here stash fits into the back side under those side pockets on this pack so it gives you some good access to uh, another storage option while you're wearing the pack so the real unique story on this pack is going to be that Gregory incorporates their Trail Smart packing system into the design. Uh, and we'll give you a quick layout of, of what that means. So they've organized kind of the pocketing where you can stow items based on the type of items you're carrying and how many times a day you need to access them. So the main body of the pack, um, which, you know, they're, they're dubbing the camp area, are going to be items that are fairly dense and bulky, you know, your sleeping bag, maybe uh, your clothes um, or, or food for the night, cooking gear. Um, is designed to fit in there. This is something that you really only need at camp. You stow it into the pack. You don't access it again until you get to camp at the end of the day. Um, the front part of the bag here through this darker green area we're seeing uh, and the multiple pockets behind it are gonna be uh, the second section, which are items that Great places to stow items that you're going to need to access maybe one to two times a day. It could be uh, first aid or your rain gear, uh, maybe a flashlight, those sort of things. And then you've got a series of pocketing and, and stash places around the outside of the pack here, which are items that you're going to need frequently. You know, your camera, your chapstick, sunscreen, sunglasses, all those things you want to get to. And you want to be able to have quick access to them so you can catch a picture of something um, on the go and not have to stop and root through your pack to find that, those items. So the first specific feature I want to cover is part of that packing system that you access one or two times a day. And I think this is, is really cool. Um, it's the first time I've seen it done on a backpack. Um, I hope we see it a little bit more often and uh, I think you'll see it throughout different packs on the Gregory line. So you ha normally have a top pocket on the backpack. Uh, it's usually exposed to the elements more than other parts of the pack. So what Gregory's done is incorporated this kind of a roll closure to this. Um, they are calling the pocket highly water resistant. So it's not waterproof, um, but but you've got some really good, highly water resistant fabrication. And here you can see I just kind of unrolled that. And here you've got a waterproof zipper. So you've got this top pocket, which actually gives you some great access into the hood of the pack, easy to get to uh, at any sort of a stop or a break. Um, when you want to close it, obviously you zip it. And then the system, you kind of roll once, roll twice. It folds it up and kind of gives you that kind of roll top closure that you're used to seeing on a dry bag, which is some really great weather protection. Uh, and you can see Gregory's noted that roll to seal note here, um, just in case you're having a, a hard time figuring out which way to roll it and how to do it. Really smooth, really clean design. Uh, like that a lot. That's, that's new um, and, and exciting to see from Gregory.
So let's cover the rest of those storage uh, options where you want to get to items, you know, a couple times throughout the day. Um, hood as your typical buckle closure opening. Underside of the hood, you do have a small zippered pocket here, um, so you can access some things there that uh, maybe you don't need to get to quite as often. You want them to be really protected from the weather. Um, we'll fold that back out of the way. Then uh, on the front here, you've got a couple different places to stow things. You know, lots of buckle system here that frees this whole thing up, so it's going to be easy to access um, and stuff gear in and out of it. The front part here is a, a basically your classic shove it pocket. You've got a bit of mesh at the bottom here, so if you put wet, wet items in there, they can easily drain or dry. Uh, so you've got some extra space there. And then you do have a zippered panel here that folds back. And You've got a fairly large uh, pocket on the outside here. These corners go back in here nice and deep. This pocket runs up to the top point here. They give you a, um, a mesh stash pocket here. So just kind of help with the organization as well as a zippered pocket here so you can stow some smaller items and they don't sink to the bottom and get lost. So at this point, we'll move uh, inside the pack and take a look there. Gregory does have this nice double buckle system with dual adjustments. So this is a buckle that you can detach to get into that shove it pocket if you need to. But it's real easy to tighten that up. Also helps compress the load vertically here. You have a separate adjustment at the top with a buckle as well. So you don't really need to undo this to access here. Then you have Gregory's uh, typical design here with this great, this one-handed pull. You can see how easy that was. Cinch this in with one hand to open it up. You're just pulling it open with the other tab there. Uh, gives you access into the pack here. And as you can see, we don't have this thing fully loaded. So you do get a little bit more internal volume here uh, in that bag as well. So the rest of that main compartment is all one bag. Uh, there is a sleeve for a hydration bladder, but the access to that is on the exterior of the pack here, which is a great design because now you don't have to climb inside that pack and root around with your sleeping bag and your clothes just to change, uh, change water or refill that hydration bladder. So you can see there's a pocket here, it runs down the back here. Um, you do have a couple of clips in here, one on each side uh, that allow you to hang different size bladders uh, and then you have that closure again across the top here uh, with the buckle system. It kind of cinches that whole thing and compresses that, that hydration bladder in there as well. So we'll take a look at some other access points to the main body of the pack here. Um, on one side you do have a long zipper that allows you to get into the main body of the pack. And Gregory's kind of done a smooth job with the design here as well because this access point crosses over your side compression straps, of which you have one here at the top uh, and another one here at the side. This piece can be buckled through here and behind and cinched in so you have really good access to this pocket throughout the day to grab items that you need at hand frequently without having to fight with this compression strap. Um, you, and it's a, it's a quick release buckle, so it's easy to open and then use that zipper again there without having to fight with this. Uh, if you wanted to really secure like a set of tent poles or something in there, you could always put that compression strap over the outside and cinch it down. So you've got a lot of great, uh, great carry, great compression options here. Um, you've got that side pocket here, which is great for throwing water bottles in or just snacks, all those things we talked about you want to get it throughout the day. You've got another one on this side. Again, there is that stash pocket behind that allows you to access things pretty quickly or while you're wearing the pack. And uh, last but not least, on the bottom of the pack here, you've got another set of maybe compression straps, but uh, I'm thinking more of the sort of thing where you can easily stow wet gear, extra pair of uh, shoes for creek crossing, or throw a sleeping pad in there uh, rolled up. You've got fast text buckles there so you can make adjustments. Adjustments on the bottom here as well. And zippered pouch with your rain cover. Uh, nice color, matches the pack. Um, so that is the Cairn 58. Again, it is a women's specific model. Uh, so it's gonna offer great fit, comfort carry options uh, for women, as well as some really unique features um, for, for stowing items and having access to items throughout the day while you're backpacking.